This is a news update for InfoLive TV, August 19th. I'm Margot Dudkevich. The Prime Minister's office has unequivocally denied Palestinian claims that Israel has taken another 110 Fatah fugitives off its wanted list. According to officials, not only is there no new list, but Israel has no intention in the near future of adding additional names. Israel will send $20,000 in aid to Peru that has been ravaged by a number of earthquakes since last week in which 500 people have been killed. President Shimon Peres has ordered his aides to examine ways Israel can assist. The foreign ministry has been in contact with all but 50 Israelis known to be in the area of the disaster. Israel is expected to resume fuel shipments to the Gaza Strip today via the Nachaloz crossing. On Friday, the Gaza Generating Company cut off powers to parts of the central Gaza Strip due to a fuel shortage. Israel last week stopped allowing fuel vehicles to pass through Gaza following security alerts. In order to prove to the younger generation that the second Lebanon war was a success, Hezbollah has modeled a video game called Special Forces, based on last summer's war, and requires players to kidnap Israeli reservists, launch katyushas, and cleanse Binch Bell of IDF forces. To mark Israel's upcoming 60th anniversary, the Absorption Ministry is launching an unprecedented campaign to return Israelis living abroad to the country, by offering them incentive packages. Some 750,000 Israelis are defined as Yordim and have been living outside the country for at least two years. Over 100 suspected members of the Fatah al-Islam group affiliated with Al-Qaeda that have been battling the army for almost three months were charged in a Lebanese court over the weekend and accused of establishing a gang with the aim of committing crimes against the people. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, the week that was, the stories that made the headlines. Infolive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.